it's too bad that this aeroponic setup is probably never going to be used because I got to use most of these parts for a different setup, bigger setup pretty soon here. So I wanted to show it to you guys before it got torn apart. Basically, this bottom tank is the reservoir. Okay, that water gets sucked up through this uh, little filter deal all the way up into this diaphragm pump. And if there's guys out there looking for some diaphragm pump kind of aeroponics, I would definitely recommend this one. It's a 220 PSI pump, and I thought they were pretty hard to find. Uh, this one is actually a, some kind of a replacement pump for a floor, a floor cleaning company. Um, and it's awesome. It did come with a pressure switch. Uh, I don't know what I was doing. I just uh, disconnected it. It wasn't part of the setup right now anyway. And that gets timed by uh, that sweet timer there. And water comes back up. It goes into these five misting heads. Okay. Tees off into one there. Elbow there, another T to this middle one. There's another misting head, and there's another misting head. And in this one, I, there was only going to be two plants grown in here. Um, so uh, this time I didn't actually cut off the netting part because I've had quite a bit of trouble. Once, once the plants get so big, they'll start to pop that neoprene out of there, pop the whole thing out. And so I figured this time the roots can kind of trap themselves around the netting on this cup and that would help kind of anchor it in there better. And that's basically, basically the idea. Uh, it doesn't take up too much room. The pump is a little noisy, but it puts out quite a bit of mist for a very short cycle. But the main problem with this whole thing and why it just never did get used is because these these misting heads will piss. They'll piss for a while like that. And it's because the, the lines are all pressurized yet and it's just squirting it out. So I suppose better misting heads uh, could help prevent that. But I also thought, why not put a solenoid right here possibly, or even right before each misting head. Put a solenoid valve and have it coming off the same timer plugged in right here just like this pump is. So when the pump's on, the valve's open, pump shuts off, the valve closes, and my theory is, is that it would obviously close off that pressure and it wouldn't piss like that. because that's kind of the whole point, is you don't want a bunch of water sitting around, right? So yeah, otherwise it works pretty sweet. This little that netting down there uh, was just a new idea I had. I never did try it out. Um, but just to keep the, the roots more lateral instead of just sitting down at the bottom here because there's just holes drilled in the bottom of, of this top uh, root chamber. And then that drips down. You see that? Drips down right into that center square where there's more holes drilled around the perimeter of it falls back down into the reservoir um, and I think it's too high because the the roots would practically be touching as soon as you you put the clones in there so it should have been way more than that anyway but live and learn so yeah
And if anybody out there is seeing this that knows about true aeroponics with, uh, you know, the accumulator tank and solenoid valves and, and pressure switches, uh, get a hold of me because I've got quite a few questions on that yet. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Peace.